Hey, Paula Williams with ABCI. Happy Wins Wednesday. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about prospecting. Uh, we have our prospecting workshop next week, and a lot of people try to skip this. I know I was one of them. Um, when I started my company, I thought, you know, we'll do a lot of marketing, and we are so good at marketing, we don't need to do prospecting. And I would find reasons and ways and anything that I could do to get out of prospecting. There were I was always too busy to do it. There were always other things that I could be doing that I enjoyed better. You know, every job has its high points and its low points. And for me, prospecting was the low point. It was not what I wanted to do. And it is amazing how innovative a human being can be when they don't want to do something, right? So uh, we were struggling, you know, we were not getting enough customers to support our financial goals. Um, I finally got to the point where I decided I would have to start prospecting or I would have to go get a job. You know, those were the choices, prospecting, get a job. And uh, so I started a training program with actually a direct sales company so that I was doing prospecting for them. Um, it was awful, <laughs> but I got good at it. And, uh, you know, then it, once I got good at it, it was like, well, why am I doing prospecting for them when I could be doing prospecting for my own company and making a lot larger percentage of the profits, you know? So I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to take one day a week and do prospecting. And that's what I have been trying to do ever since. And I'm not always perfect at it, but I am much better than I used to be. And the results really show uh, in the success of our company. So that's where we are now. Um, I was talking to my son on the phone the other day, and you know, um, it's really, really cool when your kids give you advice. And uh, it was funny because, you know, we were talking about, there's been a lot of rain in California the last few days, and he was out running with his dogs in the rain. And I said, well, that kind of stinks. You know, how did you, how did you like that? You know, and he says, well, you know, a lot of people in cars were staring at us and stuff, but, um, you know, the dogs have got to get some exercise. It's not supposed to be stopping raining anytime soon. So, so if you can't get out of it, get into it. And I'm like, well, that's a really cool saying. Um, I'm stealing that. <laughs> and I said, who's that from? Is that David Goggins? Because my son's a really big David Goggins fan. And he said, no, I think that was from boot camp from the military. But, you know, you think about that statement. If you can't get out of it, get into it. And there are ways to make things more palatable for yourself. You can make a game out of it. You can reward yourself after doing some amount of, of it that you don't like. Um, you can do... Um, different things like, you know, set it up for the time of day when you're most likely to be up and positive and can deal with that sort of thing. There's all kinds of things that you can do. For me, the best thing to do would was to schedule it every week. And I knew it was coming up. I'd mentally prepare for it. It would be part of the routine. And uh, that way it doesn't get skipped. And I don't have an excuse for not doing it. And my whole team knows Fridays are my day for prospecting. Don't uh, don't ask me for anything else. And uh, that works out because they know, you know, that's how I'm supporting them is uh, by bringing in new clients. So do what you have to do uh, to get this done. If prospecting is your least favorite thing to do, we do have some ways to make it easier, better, cooler, and, and so on. Um, I can't promise that it's going to be the most fun thing in the world, but I do have an absolute flawless uh, program for prospecting that absolutely works for every client who has tried it and actually followed the steps and done all of the work. They It has never not succeeded. So join us for that live workshop next week. Uh, we look forward to seeing you there and uh, good luck with all the things you love to do and all the things you don't love to do because life includes both. Have a great afternoon. We'll talk to you soon.